Hey Joe, it's folks here. If you're someone that sells t-shirts or mugs, you're going to love this print-on-demand product. You can basically take designs that were going to be sold on a t-shirt or a mug and you can put them on this product with very little effort. Basically, you can use the same niches, the same design concepts, the same marketing strategies, but you can make more profit in the process because this product is way more profitable than a t-shirt or a mug. If you want to see some of the other print-on-demand products that I'm recommending you to sell, make sure to check out some of my other videos and if you want to go through some step-by-step -step training from me to see how to actually build out your own print-on-demand store make sure to check out my course there is a link down in the description inside you get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you the process to actually build a print-on-demand store the best part is it is completely free and like I said there is a link down in the description before I show you the product I want to talk about why you should avoid selling shirts and mugs in most cases there's just not enough profit margin to actually make it worthwhile an example I often give is that if you ever wanted to make a thousand dollars in profit per month and you were selling a low profit product like a t-shirt or a mug which means you're probably going to be making just a couple of dollars per sale you're going to need to make lots of sales to achieve that one thousand dollar profit goal here's an example if you were making just five dollars in profit per sale on a shirt which honestly is a lot which is a stretch you would need to make 200 sales in order to reach one thousand dollars in profit to some people that doesn't sound like a lot and honestly 200 sales Sales is probably doable the problem is you now have 200 customers that you might potentially have to do customer service for and all you made was a thousand dollars it would be a much better idea for you to choose a higher profit product one that can make you more profit per sale and that way you'll need less customers to achieve that same profit goal and that's what today is all about this is the print-on-demand product that we are going to be talking about selling today this is a print-on-demand flag what I have for you here are three different product samples. We have them from different print-on-demand suppliers. In the video today, we'll take a look at the quality of these. I'll show you a bunch of close-ups. We'll talk about the suppliers that have these different print-on-demand flags. And I'll give you some epic print-on-demand design ideas so you can get started quickly selling a print-on-demand flag like these. Before I show you the suppliers, I want to show you some of those design ideas now. If you get value out of this, let me know which one you think is the coolest. And if you plan to potentially add print-on-demand flags to your print-on-demand store. Our first idea is to do something like this here for a niche that sort of relates to the political sphere where you could sort of blend it with the USA flag. You can see this example here that is blended with the police flag. Theoretically, you could do this with like firefighters or nurses or even people that love to go hunting or fishing or different things outdoors. This could be a really cool product for them that you allow them to personalize and also have something re referencing a niche that they love. We also have a lot of people doing stuff like this where they are creating various products for people to hang on the wall inside of their home gym. You can see lots of different examples here. Typically what I would recommend you to do is to create a flag for someone's gym where there is something on it, some sort of a quote, some sort of a graphic or something like that, but it also says something about their name, right? Something like this here. If we click on this one, it says the state and the city, the year it was established, and then it says your name gym. So it would say like, Joe's Gym, for example. I found this store here that is doing a tremendous job at creating some really amazing canvases for lots of different niches. We see things about here about farming or coffee or religion or the lake house and different things like that. And basically, any one of these designs could be also done with a print-on-demand flag. Here is an example of the gym, again, where it says Clifford's Gym. There's a graphic there that says no excuses, as well as the date that the gym was established. Basically, this is a really cool idea that could be done with lots of different niches and interests that people have. I've also seen lots of stuff like this in the past where people are creating a personalized sign for someone's wall in their game room. You could do something like this, but for a print-on-demand flag. Another option that might be a little bit difficult would be doing something like this here for sports teams. Now, obviously, you can't use logos. You can't use team names. You can't use use player names. That's an obvious thing. Do not violate trademark. But what you could do is you could create a flag that has icons on it that relate to a specific sport. And then you could allow people to choose a whole bunch of different color options. And then you might have some on there that replicate the colors that are used on a team's flag. But again, don't use the team's name. Don't use logos. Don't use anything that would be representing the actual team. If you wanted to create something that had the colors or something like that, sort of like, you know, maybe the colors for the 
city or something. I don't know. I think that could be a cool idea. So let's talk about the quality of these flags now because I think that there are some similarities between them as well as some differences, okay? This one here and this flag here, these are all from different print-on-demand suppliers. This one here, the black one, and this one here with the POD Ninjas logo on it are very similar in the sense where these ones not only have this metal grommet on it, but it also has a place for a, actually it doesn't, I thought it did, but I thought you could also, you know, put a pole through this flag, but I don't see how you get it past that grommet there. So I guess this one here is the same as this one here in the sense where you cannot use it with a pole, or maybe you can, I'm not sure if this, actually, yeah, you could. Actually, no, you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what a fail. This one here and this one here you could not use with a flagpole. It's only these clips here. So basically, it would either get clipped to a pole or someone would just kind of tack it to the wall. This one over here, obviously, you could put a pole through it. I had it on the wall with a tack and a nail. In terms of the quality of these flags, I don't really view any one of them as better than the other. This one back here is relatively see-through. You can see if I pull it up, you can see basically right through it. So it is pretty thin. I don't think it feels low quality though. I think it does feel, you know, relatively thick, has like a nice nylon texture to it. The print definition is definitely quite nice. Actually, all three of these flags have pretty good print definition. Just that black one there seems to be pretty see-through. This one here is a little bit see-through, not as much. And this one here, you can't see through at all. This one here has the thick, the most thickness to it. But again, I don't think either one of them feel higher quality or lesser quality or anything like that. So this flag right here, the black one, is from a print-on-demand supplier called T-Launch. It's going to be a flag that is 36 inches by 60. It is 100% polyester. It shows that it is equipped with grommets for an authentic look and feel. It's going to ship to you from Utah, and it's going to cost you just $15.50. I have seen stores that are selling personalized flags for $30 and up, so there's a decent profit margin on this product from this supplier. Our second option for this one here is from a print-on-demand company called AOP Plus. Now, AOP Plus's version of the flag is going to cost $17.99. And one thing to note about this supplier is that they are actually based in London. So if you are selling to the United States, perhaps it would be better for you to use the T-Launch option here. If you are selling to London or somewhere in Europe, potentially this could be a better option for you. And lastly, we have this red one here, which is actually inside of the Printify app. And they don't even call it a flag. They call it a house banner basically because I'm assuming it goes through a pole. This one's going to cost you $17.82 if you have yourself a Printify premium account. Comes in the exact same size as the other two. So basically what you're going to have to decide here if you are wanting to sell a print on demand flag is which supplier do you want to use? And ultimately to me it would come down to price and where the product is going to be hung. If you wanted to give people the ability to hang it on a pole then something like this would be a better option option from Printify. If you didn't really care and you wanted to just basically let them put it on the wall, something like this could be a cool option. They are all basically the same. Let me get this thing out of here. They're basically all the same in terms of pricing and really what it comes down to is what type of flag do you want to offer on your store? And also, depending on if you're selling to the United States or to Europe, then you would also want to make that distinction there. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are print-on-demand flags something that you potentially would consider adding to your site? Like I said at the beginning, of the video. If you're someone that likes to sell t-shirts and mugs, I think a flag could be a cool option for you and it could be an easy way for you to begin making designs for other products that can make you a little bit more profit because basically you can create a little bit of a background on your flag and then take your t-shirt design or your mug design and sort of put it on your flag in the middle and you'd have a decent print-on-demand flag and it would be a great segue and a great way for you to start selling some more higher profit products. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this something you might sell? And if not, why? And if it is, let me know how it goes once you actually get started. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.